So as we mentioned at the open, today is World AIDS Day. World Health Organization officials say that some 33 million people are infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Two-thirds of them in sub-Saharan Africa. Joining me to talk about the significance of this day is Professor Babatunde Oshotimehin, Director General, National Agency for the Control of AIDS in Nigeria. And just before we go to the professor, uh, let's uh, listen to just a, a bite of what he had to say some time back when I had an interview with him about Nigeria's strategy to fight HIV AIDS. Well, when we started, we started to take the case of treatment. We started, we were the first African country to offer treatment in the public service. And we started with 25 sites. We had a target of 10,000 patients, small. But that was 2002. Today, cumulatively, we treated about 270,000 Nigerians. And we are now treated in more than 250 sites. It's growing. We believe that by the time we have established fully, we should actually have a treatment center in every local government, which is 774 sites in Nigeria. That's, that's the target. Well, political will is something we have in Nigeria. And it is not only at the federal level, but at the state level as well. And we have also been able to uh, construct platforms that have taken on women's groups, other civil society groups, uh, in order to fight this epidemic. And I think that that has helped us tremendously. Thank you very much. Well, Professor Oshotimehian, that was you talking to me some months back. Now, tell me, uh, this day uh, is being commemorated worldwide as being as the 20th uh, kind of uh, uh, anniversary of this uh, HIV-AIDS uh, pandemic that has wreaked havoc across the continent of Africa. Uh, so far, what is your take on uh, how successful the efforts uh, on the ground have been in at least stemming the infections, uh, particularly in Africa? Um, I think uh, the view, worldwide view, of uh, UNAIDS uh, that uh, gives leadership to uh, the global effort on, UN, on, uh, on the fight against each other is that uh, the velocity uh, is decreasing. We are still having new infections, but it is not as violent as it was 10 years ago. We are also now putting in place better structures to provide prevention, education, and commodities to reach more people. The and, and of course, as I said in the clip which you played, Africa has also seen many more people being placed on treatment because of the advocacy that we made for uh, cheaper antiretroviral drugs uh, that have become available through uh, the, uh, the, the fact of generics being now, uh, available. And, and, I, now, and I think also yes, there's been increased support from our development partners to provide access to a greater number of people. Now, that uh, sounds very optimistic. Uh, over time, it has been felt like uh, in parts of Africa, in, in say, 10 years' time, uh, whole populations will completely be decim uh, decimated by HIV AIDS. Do you see hope of reversing that and that, in fact, we're going to have a progressive, vibrant uh, uh, Africa free of AIDS? I, I, see, I see hope of reversing that because national programs I place a lot of emphasis on prevention and also on providing access to treatment for both adults and young children. And I think that uh, there is also a large, uh, a large effort being made for prevention of mother-to-child transmission programs, which will ensure that the next generation of Africans are, are virus-free. But, I mean, we need to sustain what we are doing. We need to, in fact, scale up in some parts to ensure that uh, we arrive at this uh, target. Uh, I think most African countries have signed on to the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals, which is 2015, and indeed the midterm view uh, by 2010, which is only two years away, uh, providing universal access. 
Now, those are aspirational, and I think we're all struggling to try and get to those. Um, what also we have to uh, take into consideration, which we must continue to address, okay. is the cross-cutting issue of poverty. Thank you. Uh, which is Thank you, also sir. A, the, an issue across in Africa, because th I think those things uh, need to be addressed Thank if you. we are going to improve the lives of everybody. Right. Thank you very much, sir. That is uh, Professor Baba Tunde Oshetimehin of Nigeria. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us.